heating effect of electric current. Let us solve the problem. Before that, what is the concept behind that? Uske piche ka concept kya hai? Let me discuss about that. So first of all, we should know what is the formula for power. Let me discuss about the power here. So for that, you all know power is nothing but work by time. And you also know electric potential is nothing but work done on unit charge. And you also know W will become cross multiplication if you do VQ. So power is equal to V into Q by T. Okay. And you also know that Q is equal to IT because I is nothing but Q by T. Current is nothing but charge by time here. So we write power, V you write like that only. Instead of Q you write I into T divided by T. So T T gets cancelled. The formula for power is V into I. V into I. This is the basic formula. And you also know V is equal to IR. V is equal to IR. You will substitute here. You will be getting how much? Power is equal to I into R into I. So therefore power is equal to I square R. This is one formula you have to remember. Okay. The next formula is you also know I is equal to V by R according to Ohm's law. So we will be writing power is equal to V square by R square into R. So R R gets cancelled. Power is equal to V square by R. Here, when does this formula applicable and when is this formula applicable? See here, current is present here. So this formula is applicable. Current is present here. This formula is applicable when the series connection is present and current passing is same. When the current is same, we apply this formula. When parallel connection is given, potential is same. When potential is same, we will apply the formula in which potential is present. So if you observe here, it is a case of parallel connection. As it is a case of parallel connection, we will consider the parallel circuit in which potential is going to be same here. Okay, so and when you consider this concept here, potent, I mean power is inversely proportional to resistance here. Here power is directly proportional to resistance if it is a series connection. But the problem says it's a parallel connection. So therefore, V writes, okay, so he's asking the ratio here, P1 by P2 is equal to R2 by R1. What is R2 here? It is 200 divided by 100. So, our option is 2 is to 1. That's it. This is a concept here. 